of the most challenging times in a design can be when the mechanical and electrical teams need to collaborate. With system integration tools like SolidWorks Electrical, it's not nearly as difficult. Many times, it is the mechanical assembly that dictates the path that wires, cables, and harnesses must take. SolidWorks Electrical 2021 makes meeting these requirements much easier by now supporting the use of both splines and lines when creating routing paths. We can use this routing path to shape the harness that will connect the transducer, then follow along the wall. We can adjust several curves to obtain a smoother path very easily now that this is a spline. When routing a harness, you will find time-saving options to route with splines rather than just lines so that the harness looks more accurate the first time. During routing, the harness can follow the predefined path we created. To finish up this harness and reduce wire waste, we can add a splice so that all the connectors in the harness are then cut to equal length. Support of splines for creating routing paths greatly improves the versatility of routing electrical harnesses in geometrically complex products. It's a common practice to have multiple cables starting from a single connector and then have each cable going to a different part of the electrical system. In the past, these cables were routed in the same assembly and did not provide flexibility that all the designers needed. In SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematic 2021, cable properties now include the field Separate 3D Route Assembly. The same parameter can also be controlled in the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Route Cable command. This provides maximum flexibility to users on how and where they want to initiate this new parameter. In this assembly, we have created separate routing paths for each cable starting from the round 10 pin connector over to the PCB that controls the navigation sensors. We can now route these two cables at once, but as separate assemblies. To finish securing these last two wires through the clips, let's edit the route. Choosing the route edit through clip command, we must now select the axis of the clip and then choose the wires we want to route through that clip. In the Property Manager, the Arrange Routes section allows you to manually arrange wires with user-defined offset, merge routes to a single point, or auto-arrange the routes. 